Hello everybody! Welcome back! We are here with General Derpy Wigglesworth, leader of the Minutemen. And we are here in Starlight Trading Post. As you can see in the background, there are some improvements that are still occurring here. And uh, as some of you may recall from an earlier episode, that I mentioned the playroom there, and I said, no, it's not that kind of playroom. Well, today I'm going to show you that kind of playroom. So let us get started. So this is Genevieve's place. And there is Genevieve. We'll meet her soon. <clears throat> this is Genevieve's place. She has been a lady of entertainment for a few years about five years so far she says and she found this uh, trailer out in the wastes and she and a friend of hers uh, basically he was he was a client and in exchange for her services he helped her to clean this up repair it improve it and make it mobile so yeah so as we can see here she's got some stabilizing uh, legs here to make sure that this place stays nice and level when she is parked uh, you know that handle there you just grab that you start rotating it and then that leg right there uh, extends or retracts so her friend and she mostly her friend uh, found this tractor and improved it significantly, as you can see, so that she would still have a, uh, a high torque so that she can move this very large vehicle, but also have a high speed, which is not standard for most tractors, so that she can drive away quickly from raiders, feral ghoul attacks, super mutants, whatever, and also she is defended from most ranged attacks and a few actual, you know, if they happen to jump up and start beating on this thing. Uh, grenades will basically bounce off these walls, but she also, uh, you know, she's got to do a little bit of climbing to get into the seat there, but that's one way that she has been able to maintain such a fantastic figure by doing a lot of climbing in and out, as well as a very active business life. Uh, but also she has this wire fence that is attached at the top and after she climbs in, she just unrolls it and attaches it to hooks at the bottom. So any incoming grenades or molotovs or rocks or something like that will basically bounce off of it because this fencing is not as rigid as these walls. So it'll come in, hit it, it'll kind of compress a bit and then basically pop the thrown item off. And one of the things that's amazing about these tractors is the fact that the rear wheels are all metal and the front wheels are solid rubber. So they are very durable, very sturdy, and can actually withstand some explosions without going flat, so to speak. So you can still run away if necessary. And uh, over here, again, there's another one of these uh, stabilizing systems. And she came here before this fence wall was put up. The, they, put, they put it up after she moved in because then she was able to basically drive up the hill here and pull into place. <clears throat> and uh, lowered the stabilizing legs. They took whatever junk that they had and basically placed it so that her trailer is also one of the defendable walls here. She's not totally thrilled about it, but these are actually rather rather durable trailers. And then just to protect her wheels and her tires, 
they were kind enough to place this uh, rather thick metal piece in front of her wheels. You can see her wheels there. So let's head over here and get a look back over here. Now, she actually is missing one of her stabilizing... Madeline Dunn is a real asshole. Oh. I can't imagine who voted for him. I guess his parents. Maybe the robot. That's probably it, though. Why would the robot vote for McDonough? His parents, sure. Why would the robot vote for McDonough? Weird. Anyway, um, yeah, there's the stabilizing uh, system there. But uh, this one, well, this one's missing. And honestly, because of the unevenness of the ground, uh, she does plan to stay here for a while. So basically... You can see that they've been kind of working on it, but they stripped apart a car, added some stability to it, and basically raised the trailer up and basically rested it on it. So, you know, yeah, her wheels are in the air, but she's got really strong stability there. And she's got a couple seats so that she can enjoy being outside in the shade. And, uh, yeah, she's got, uh, well, this sign has multiple ways of saying it, so it has multiple meanings. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hi. Hi. And, uh, again, a little place Hi. for, uh, some, uh, storage, a few tools, basically what her business is. And for fun, she's got this little <laughs> parking meter. Let's see. Oh, I guess I already Ever said try it. try to outrun a feral in high heels? Still easier than a bad date. Hmm. And she is wearing appropriate clothing for her chosen field. She's rather popular, I might add. And, uh, yeah. So this is her home and her place of business. So let us walk inside, shall we? Just step up on this, open the door. And this is her living room. And <clears throat> some nice reading materials. Some of the stuff is kind of worn. A little mismatched, but, you know, it's, it works. But she does have a, she has a definite sense of style and fashion. You know, she knows, she knows what gets the man interested. But, uh, yeah, she does have a sense of style. So a lot of these, she has tried to either get cleaned up or get new or at least as good of noir type of design as she possibly can. And over here she's got her kitchen, she's got her stove, and she's got uh, she's got a little oven. You can see, you know, the handle. It doesn't have the uh, the window so you just kind of have to use the timer to find out how, if it's ready, uh, you can, of course, pull it open and look at the food and such. Just, you know, make sure you don't leave it open too long or you let all the hot air out. Uh, she's got some coffee and some bread. Uh, she had a snack, but, uh, well, she had a client come in. And, well, he's a good paying client, so she decided to uh, just kind of set her lunch on hold. She's got some reading material. And, of course, more reading material. Sorry about the zipping. She spent a long time cleaning this sink because, well, she drinks out of it, but she also wants her stuff clean. She cleans her produce, she cleans her dishes, so she spent time making sure that this was as clean as, as she could possibly get it. And it's pretty damn clean. And then she's got a little uh, travel uh, travel fridge. 
some stuff inside there. And of course, you know, places for the rest of her dishes and utensils. And over here is the bathroom. So, you know, she is able to shower and use the toilet and the sink. They are a combined unit. Basically, it saves water. You know, she can go and wash her hands, and then that gray water goes into the toilet, fills that up. So, basically, she can go use the toilet, flush it, and then wash her hands, and then that just fills up the toilet again for the next time that she needs to use it. And of course, um, waterproofing and non-slipping so that she can have a nice shower. And of course, she just closes this. And if, yes, there is a vent up there to let all the steam come out. Nice light. I'll turn mine off. It's, it's, she hasn't turned that on because, well, she doesn't need it right now. She's not using the bathroom. She's not using the kitchen. Um, but she is prepared for taking any clients. And she is a multi-purpose woman of entertainment. Prepared for all sorts of stuff. Including, yes, that some people are really into that. Of course, you know, she has privacy. She's got these open a little bit so she can let some light in. But she has it close in the back because, well, there's usually not a lot of sunlight back there. And, you know, the school is back there and stuff like that. And, yeah, she's just being polite. And, uh, yeah, some more light. And, of course, this shining down and here is her bed again she likes she likes style and she likes fashion so you know she's got a lot of noir stuff um, she just likes that look And of course, you know, nice fancy lights. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's just head outside and take a look at this in the dark. Evening for two. I know just the place. Be a shame if it went to waste. Well, thank you, Genevieve. So, yes. This is her place. She is kind of taking a break from work right now. She was uh, just kind of showing the goods. And now she's just taking a break and enjoying the evening. So, yeah. This is... Genevieve's home and place of business. And the timing kind of worked out pretty well, so that we still have some light, but it's still kind of dark. So, good, honey. I hope you enjoyed this little tour, and thank you so much for joining me. And if you do like what you saw, and you'd like to see more of it, Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell button. I don't do self-promotion very often, but, you know, it's, it's, it's always nice uh, to have new subscribers. So, again, if you enjoyed yourself, please leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, stay tuned because there will be more episodes, uh, especially in Fallout 4, but dealing with Fallout and occasionally some model building videos as well. So, again... Thank you for joining me. Be excellent to each other and to yourself. And party on. Have a great one. Bye.